Hey guys, welcome back to another Xcode 4 tutorial where again we'll be going over some of the basics, some of the cool stuff that we'll be doing and as you see from the screen that we're looking at right now, we're working from some pre-existing models and view controllers and everything that we've done in the previous tutorial. So if you don't know where we're at, you can catch up by going back or you can kind of latch on to where we're at now and we'll, we'll try to keep it simple and slow at a, kind of a basic level for you. So what we're going to do today is actually go through a table view controller. And basically the table view, you see them all the time within your iOS apps. And so the table view actually is a sweet organizational tool for your applications. And so as we breach through this, you'll see kind of the similarities between some of the apps you've maybe already used or how you uh, how it all works together. So, And so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull a table view controller onto the screen. And I'm going to show you a few different elements um, within just how to do it without even coding and then also how to hook it up with some coding and some functionality within your app. So what we're going to do is you've got a main storyboard for your iPhone um, controller here. And so what we've got is our iPhone storyboard in front of us. Now if you zoom out, obviously we've done a few things within these tutorials, but what we're going to focus on is just dragging in a table view controller and putting it right next to our other projects here. Now with that, what we've been doing is keeping them organized by putting a button on the screen to segue over to this. So as you run your uh, applications there, we can simply pull in and shoot over to the table view through the segue. So put a button on the screen and we are just going to control, click and drag over to our new view controller there. And again, the storyboard segue, we're, we could push it there, we could modal it there, we could do a custom segue. In this case, just go with push because that's going to push us onto the screen to this table view. So now, as you see, we've got our table view controller down on the left here, and I'm going to scoot it over so uh, as we move with some of the, the attributes and the different things that you can do, it's kind of easy and you can see what you're doing. And just got a text there. It looks like uh, I'm supposed to be training for a marathon, apparently. There's a community marathon. Anyways, yeah, I think last tutorial I was, I was prompted and somebody was like, hey, come running with me. My girlfriend specifically, come running. And I was like, oh, man, are you kidding me? I'm so out of shape right now. It's not even funny. A marathon now? All right, anyways. Um, so you got your table view on the screen, and we've got uh, what they call as prototype cells. And so that's basically saying, okay, these are... These are prototypes that we, we don't have any content in them yet, and we could assign them. And so what I want you to do is get familiar with this table view and what's there. So if you click on your table view here and you go up to the top, you'll see that uh, the first thing that we've got is kind of the general properties to this table view. The first thing being content, which this is set to the dynamic prototypes. Now there's two settings here. We've got the dynamic prototypes and then we've got static cells. Now both of them have the ability to pull in information and display it on screen and what the, the basically the main difference between them is the dynamic is going to allow you to add programming functionality to add different content to your list or your table view. The static are going to be more of hey this is these are the only options that I want the user to be able to click into and move into different view controllers. Um, so in this case we're going to stick with the static and I'm going to show you the difference um, in a later tutorial how to do the dynamic and stuff like that but the static is going to be the easiest for you guys so far and uh, one of the basic uh, functionality behind it and then the next thing you see sections now you're probably wondering what in the world are sections we'll go ahead and click two or three and you'll see on screen it simultaneously adds different sections and this would be let's say you look in the phone book of your iOS app and it it uh, has different sections whether it's a uh, B, C, and it helps your organizational of organization of your table view there. So in this particular tutorial, um, we're going to go back and let me get back there. Since since we've got three sections on the on the uh, board there, we've got to get back to actually clicking the table view. If you can't click it, you can go over here and uh, just click the table view, which is going to select it, and it's going to give you your menu back. Otherwise, if you click on the actual section or within the the, the, the cell here, it's going to give you options specifically for those elements. So click the table view or this over here to get back to the main table view settings attributes. And what we're going to do is go back to one section. 
and uh, the next thing that I want you guys to play around with is the style so that right now we've got a plain style and this is gonna be uh, I'm trying to think of something in the iOS apps that you've seen before but I think it's the phone book it looks very similar to this just real plain Jane um, it has a little search function up here to search through your, your contacts and whatnot but the style I want you guys to change to grouped and you'll see exactly what that does I mean on screen it shows uh, the group sections with a little header and we could add a little footer which we'll get into in the next tutorial and uh, we'll get finished through the rest of these. The separator that kind of makes uh, you know it's a, it's the separator between the cells you can do a single line single line etched um, we can change the color of that line alright the last uh, two elements within this main table view here is going to be single selection or multiple selection or even no selection so uh, multiple selection basically allows you to click different multiple options and then uh, you know throw an action associated to those three those multiple selections single obviously is just gonna be one and then no no selection anyways editing this is gonna be um, I'm trying to think of something that you guys would relate to but uh, after you've edited something it's gonna show different actions related to the editing um, and I'll show you how to do that in later tutorials and uh, lastly we've got a slow show selection on touch and in this case we're gonna say, say selected yes so without further ado um, that was kinda of the basics of the overview of getting the table view in there and in the next tutorial we're gonna go through how to hook it up um, some different elements that we can add just to give you I don't know more of the knowledge of hey th this thing can do this oh that's pretty wicked I could throw this in my application type and then uh, hopefully from there you guys can make those awesome apps that you guys are are uh, kicking out anyways hope you guys are enjoying the tutorial so far I will catch you guys in the next tutorial